Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics. And to another topical issue that has to do with uh, restructuring. The Kaduna State Governor and Chairman of the Restructuring Committee of the All Progressive Congress, Governor Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna State, has called out Northerners opposed to restructuring of the country, saying they were doing so for selfish reasons. He also said the draft bill produced on restructuring by his committee in January 2018 was stepped down for fear of politis politicization ahead of the 2019 general elections. However, in response to his comment, Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Ferry, and his counterpart in Southeast, Oanese Ndibo, have described it as a ploy to hoodwink Nigerians. To discuss this further, we have uh, Mr. Yinka Odumaki, who is the spokesperson of Afeni Ferry, and we also have Dr. Yunisa Tanko also joining us. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Uh, sorry for Thanks. greeting both of you at the same time, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. Good to have both of you. Let me start with uh, uh, Mr. Yinka Odumaki. Um, Afeni Ferry seems to have... Um, uh, said that uh, I don't know what that statement meant. So let me hear your opinion about this call for I mean by the governor of uh, Kaduna State. We are, um, we are not impressed by the national device because he speaks on both sides of his mouth. Uh, today, he said that power has been talking about. Another press will tell you that oh, we need a quality leadership. As if there's only one session can have a quality leader. That's what they call Takiya, deception. What the first place called Takiya, deception. You deceive your willing. The edifice does not mean what it is, it does not say what it means. It's only the Uru Nuhim that will impress. We saw those uh, sweet things of sweet talk. And uh, we are not impressed. We want to know you very well. Okay, thank you so much. I I'll come back to you. I'm, I'm just getting some disturbing sound. I hope it's not uh, one of our guests that had some of this sound at the background. But if you can please walk away from that location, it will be better for our output. But let me go to... Uh, Dr. Yunisa, to have your comment on this. Uh, how potent is that statement from the governor of Kaduna State, when, when we understand it's, he holds so much influence in the North? Um, I don't really understand the context in which that statement was made. Or is there any rejection from his own uh, member of his gov uh, governor's uh, forum from the North? Uh, the fact still remains that majority of us in the North are 100% in support of restructuring. Wow. And I'm glad this uh, morning that Dr. Baba, Akim Baba Ahmed, the Publicity Secretary of the Elders Forum, alluded to this fact and that uh, a lot of us are ready and we wish this particular issue of restructuring could be done and dusted so that the, the kind of allegations and um, uh, statements being raised on the matter is becoming embarrassing hmm. and unnecessary because for us, it's about moving this country forward. There is a lot of issues that the North will benefit from, from this issue of restructuring. And once it is being put on the table, I think we will be better off for it. So, as far as the APC is concerned, it was part of their own manifesto, a part of their own agenda as a political party, and they found themselves in governance. Since they are in governance, they should be able to actualize what is in their manifestos. In fact, to me, the issue of having a committee was an afterthought, okay. because the issues that are contained in the 49 memorandum in the manifesto of the APC signify clearly that they are going to deal with the issue of restructuring. So having a committee in the first instance was just whittling down that particular okay. issue that is contained Dr. in Yunisa, their manifesto. 
Dr. Nisa, allow me to interject a bit so that I, I can follow your line of thought. I will go back to Mr. Inko Dumaki in a moment, but yeah. let me stay with you. Now, when you say that it is becoming embarrassing to the North when they are discussing this issue of restructuring, and another issue we've been having about it is what kind of restructuring are we talking about? There is a part of fiscal federalism, there is a part of resource control which are also interwoven. Is the North saying that let every region control their resources, or what is their definition of I mean, restructuring? Is it just limited to devolution of power? Let's you know, limit the power that is controlled by the center. Okay. When I said embarrassing, at a point in time in this country, the North is being looked at as if it's a niche, it's benefiting from other parts of this country's benevolence. And that is a total wrong assumption. Look, what is a country? A country is about people, it's about land, it's about natural resources. And there is no part of the North that does, is not endowed with its natural resources. Look back in the, in, in the former years, we have contributed immensely to the development of this country. And everybody can attest to it. So if another part of this country has an opportunity, of adding value to the country does not mean that other parts too are weak. But I feel that it's a wake-up call for people in the North to so go back to the drawing board and start looking inwardly. Inward. i give you a certain example. Many of us do not know that Zamfara has such a hidden treasure in that state. Many of us don't even know. Some of us who are living in the North didn't even know. So how many states in the 19th state of the Federation of the North will have hidden treasure that is unknown? So that is why I said it is embarrassing. Some part of okay. this country okay. in the South-South... Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. Sorry, we'll come back to that. I know you have so much to say. But let me go back to Mr. Yinka Odumaki. Um, we are looking at a situation where these restructuring, part of my word, as we speak, there is a 2014 National Assembly, I mean, National Conference document that is being gathering dust. And there is um, the APC recommendation for restructuring that Governor Rufai did say that uh, they don't want it to be politicized. Which document are we talking about? Do we have Mr. Yinka or the market there? The restructuring is just about one issue. Okay. It's about federalism. I have a 2014 National Conference report, or the end of my report, it's all about federalism. I know, I'm not saying that there are no Northerners who are supporting structuring. I know quite a lot of, I have a lot of Northern friends who are advocates of structuring. What can I do now? Taking about growth of the criminals. Or state actors to mind the code of the para. That's where, that's where, that's where, that's that's hmm. So we are not we are not at all northerners against those children. No, there there are our uh, fellow countrymen from the north who are for destruction. But I've seen that every five they refuse. This at least in case of school, they put actually their bonfire. Really, go far. They said they didn't know, they didn't know the meaning of destruction again. <laughs> So you must keep giving too much. I tell you, the other When the other side comes, 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 I tell you, it's part of the the rules of politics. That's why it's also the big thing. What happened to 2019? Which 2020? Is it because of COVID or answers that have not been done in the other? In fact, we are not keep. Let nobody pull any skin over our faces. Okay, Mr. Yinka. We are for not for we are not saying to do any anymore. You can see, you can mark it. Let me remind you. Let, let me just remind you one or two things. Let me remind you one or two things. Okay. Mr. Yinko Dumaki, I'm still with you. I'm still with you. Hello. Mr. Yinko Dumaki, let me stay with you. I remember the argument in 2014 National Conference when there was a huge debate on what you call one thing. That one thing is pregnant with a whole lot of interpretations. Now, there was a time you said, okay, this resource control, 50% to the federal, 50% to the host state. And later, they said, no, this 13% increase it to 
18%, and it was going back and forth. If it is as simple as you put it, should they even talk of 50%, you should be a, an issue of paying tax to the federal. So we need to straighten out these issues. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, about, it's, it's about some people believe that the only way they can survive is by cheating others. Hmm. That's the only way they can see to see the next order. And when they see the next order, they feel like the individual in Nigeria, the individual in Nigeria, the individual in Nigeria, it's the unity of the horse and the horse rider. Whereas there is enough for everybody in this country. I, I always say to people, when you look at the city of Niger State, the landmass of Niger State makes it bigger than the whole of the Netherlands. The Netherlands is the fourth largest export of agriculture in the whole world. What's the idea thing from Niger State at the moment? Because of Abuja at the moment, you have one land, give us more, share us more money. Let me say this. Okay. Land is part of production. We have more land. Construct land. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, let me go back to you, uh, Mr. I mean, Dr. Yunusa. Now, I also I'm trying to remember whether you 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 were also a member or a delegate of the 20th. Making money. Okay. So go, going back to you now. From what Mr. Ingo Dumaki said, he said there is no doubt that there are northerners who support restructuring. How are we sure? How are we sure that you people are not in the minority? Looking at what happened at the national conference, looking at what the current government is saying about the 2014 national conference, what is the guarantee that people will feel what you're saying in the majority of the north? We pass what we passed by 600 resolutions at the National Conference 2014. We didn't vote on any issue. If we are minority, we are okay. to give us a chance to keep the ballot. Right? Okay. Do we still have Dr. Yunisa online? Those who are opposed to the minority, we are okay. the minority. We hold federal powers. They are using the rod over, over others. So those of us who want change, who want the majority to be productive, we are the majority. Okay. Let, let, let me also listen to Dr. Unisa on this. Dr. Unisa, did you hear my question to Mr. Inko Dumaki just now? No, please repeat because there's a... Okay, I can understand. I can understand. So I was saying that what is the guarantee that you don't belong to the minority in the North because your position is quite unequivocal and what in clear terms... How do you think the North is responding to this? Maybe I should remind you about the 2014 National Conference that as much as the document came up, some dissenting voices came from the North. You know, normally, even, even, even in the South, who are the chief advocates of the issue of restructuring, there are dissenting voices. Some believe that we have enough rules and regulations. All we lack is just the will and leadership that can execute the right thing to be done. It is all over. It's not particularly accrued to the north or south. But the thing is this, if you remember some couple of years back, when the issue of restructuring started, very few voices were advocating for it. Now, you can agree with me that the voice is louder than the way it was before. And that means that we are not in the minority. The only thing that is necessary that needs to be done is that the younger generation who are now in a more majority to understand the real, the real call for restructuring and what it stands for. There are, minor, there are minority leaders who have been benefiting and feeding fast on the situation that it is today at the disadvantage of the majority of the people in the North. We are in large population. We have land. We are yet, and yet we are the poorest part of this country. Hmm. Can you compare a southern Nigerian student or a businessman or a businesswoman with a northern businessman or an educated person in the north? They are not in comparison at all. So in that case for us, if this disruption has happened, we may be getting closer and in a large population to okay. our brothers mm. and sisters in the south. So that mm. is why it is very important for majority of our brothers and sisters to understand right. 
the advantage that is accrued to us. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Yunus Atanko. And I'm sure I, I saw Mr. Inko Dumagi uh, nodding with his sound, but maybe you should do that with words now <laughs> in the next 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, inside, inside, I think it's, 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 speaking, it's speaking very well. And I want to tell my right user that if they have uh, polluted the world restructuring, they should just look federal. Can I use the word federalism? We want to go back to federalism. Let's do our restructuring. Let's say federalism. If they have already, if they have already uh, bastardized the world, say, oh, restructuring, you want to pick up the country. Okay. Federalism has no two meanings. Federalism is the best thing for a multi ethnic country like Nigeria for us to develop at the same pace. Okay. For us to develop our areas to so productive all around and move forward. We need more people like you, sir, to come up with this clear understanding of what needs to be done. Beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Yinka Odumaki, the spokesperson yeah. of Afeni Ferry, and Dr. Yunus Atanko, who uh, happens to be the former chairman of uh, National Conscience Party. He's a politician and also a political analyst. Thank you for your time. Mm. Oh, that's a very, that's a very, that's a very thankful. Okay, sorry, thankful. that's Yunus Atanko. I'm fine, I'm fine, Yinka. Ah, I didn't, I thought it was you. Sorry. <laughs> so you can continue uh, the, you can continue the yeah, greetings yeah. later. Thank you, gentlemen, yeah. for your time. <laughs> okay, and uh, I, I think I should also add here that despite um, the, the, the doubt about uh, Governor Erufai's sincerity, the two men that have spoken and Governor Erufai are for restructuring. So let the conversation continue. We'll take a short break, very, very short, and I'll be giving you my take on this issue. Please don't go anywhere. Interestingly, the two topics discussed today cannot be wished away in any national public discourse, zoning and restructuring. They are indicative of inequality, nepotism, tribalism, and who knows, it might be born out of selfishness by the political class whose interest is the zoning, the power mongers or the ordinary people. A costly look shows that apart from warped or one-sided appointments, the people hardly have anything spectacular to show for it. Though restructuring debate is more like it, because with right structure, the craze for zoning may not matter any longer. Not only will it be an autopilot, it will give room for accountability. Fiscal federalism and resource control will be well monitored. And that's my take on the discourse tonight. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, same station. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladende, saying bye for now.